Liquid Nitrogen Scrubber NOV approached OEI regarding the application of magnetic filtration to the nitrogen used in the N2 pumpers with the goal to extend the cold ends of the pump. Initial testing identified a large amount of wear contamination, both ferrous and non-ferrous particles. National Oil Well Barco, or NOV Hydrig, building our N2 pumper, our nitrogen pumpers, we've added magnetic filtration on every fluid we could possibly find, and one of them is the actual nitrogen that we're pumping. NOV is the only company in the world that installs magnetic filtration on um, in liquid nitrogen circuits. We consider it, it to be important because uh, the magnetic scrubber protects the uh, pumping elements that take the liquid nitrogen to 15,000 psi. So uh, fluid cleanliness is very important uh, and it's a very difficult thing to achieve on liquid nitrogen because of the formation of uh, condensation in the circuit during startup. We've discovered that most of the nitrogen product, bulk nitrogen products that our customers buy is extremely dirty. Uh, in this case, the magnetic filter element has less than about six hours of runtime and the buildup is considerable already. If we weren't filtering this product, um, that abrasive material would go into the 15,000 PSI pumping elements. Just because it boils that atmosphere, but we're pumping it as a liquid, doesn't mean it shouldn't be filtered. So we added N2 filtration with our Fecret down in, at uh, NOV Hydrarig and we were surprised by how much we were taking out of that stream. On the step equipment, it's a triplex pump. There are three pumping elements, uh, and each one of the pumping elements uh, costs about $10,000 to buy new, and to service them each time they fail costs about $2,200. On top of that, we, we monitor how many cubes of nitrogen we pump uh, and those critical components uh, how long they last. As soon as you can increase those components by one day, two days, a month, two months, it, it's huge to the bottom line because they're extremely expensive. We're talking a cold end that's in, that's critical component. There's five of them or, or three of them depending on the pump and they're worth $20,000 a piece. We're talking a huge, huge dollar value here. So the longer we can go and get service out of that, um, we, we can increase our reliability and we also decrease our cost per pump of of nitrogen per cube.